Hey guys, welcome back to, uh, I was going to start singing there, but I didn't. <laughs> um, welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush. I am Brad M73. Um, let's see here. We have to get started. And I haven't far, wait. Um, I'm going to run up here. I kind of want to see what the maintenance guys are working on, if anything. I don't see... I don't see their little cards up there. Oh, I think in this episode, too, I was talking about um, buying the new fuel station and everything. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to wait until um, it gets light out. Uh, okay, so he's not working there. Uh... They're gonna have to start working on something here soon. Well, anyway, let's let's work. Let's let's work. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna start digging. Uh oh. Come on now. There we go. Boom. We're gonna see if we can get another really good double clean out in a decent amount of time here. Let's see. Yeah. Let's zoom out some more. So we're also going to be digging into some of the better gold here uh, this episode. We did we did dig some good gold. And I can't remember how much we got. What? How many ounces did we get the last time? 120... I want to say we got around 120 ounces, like 115, 120. Maybe it was like 112, but um, did really good. <clears throat> so I'm wanting a repeat of that. And uh, make some more money here. I almost kind of don't want to buy the fuel thing because if I don't, that means I have I can get to the you know the amount of money that we need to buy the uh, the last tier five piece of equipment, uh, and I always forget the name of it. It is the I'll I'll remember it. It'll come to me. The uh, gravel pump. I think it's called the gravel pump. Why do I always forget? I always do. So, uh, yeah, we're a few days before Christmas. I can't really think of anything that I want for Christmas. Like, I don't... I don't really want... You know, I, I read a... Um, like, one of those little Facebook posts that people post... And they're like, the older you get, the things on your Christmas list, like the amount of things on your Christmas list starts to dwindle because the things that you want, you, you know, money can't buy. And that is so true. Like, you know, my mom had a recent cancer diagnosis and like the only thing that I want is for her to, you know, be healthy. And that's the, you know... I don't care. I literally don't care about anything else. You know, as far as like, I, you know, I just want to spend time with my mom. And, uh, and I want her to be healthy. So, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, everybody that does have, you know, if, if you do have things that you want for Christmas, not at all trying to diminish that whatsoever. Um, I hope you get everything that you, are looking forward to if you're looking for like an awesome game or like a new PC component or a new car or a new pair of underwear, whatever it is that you want for Christmas. I hope you get it. But um, yeah. <gasps> uh oh, we got <laughs> we got. Oh no, um, I'm gonna have to get out because we've got to get this started up. I 
I think I even have to turn this on. Oh, and somebody said, and I can't remember, please forgive me for not remembering names. You gotta remember who you're talking to here. Someone said I had this swapped around. So, oh yeah, I got the output there. Yep, I did have that turned around, didn't I? Whoops. Okay, so the out goes here. The in good now it's got water. Yay! See I was I was trying to pump some water out of the <laughs> out of the uh, thing there. Wait. Are we going? Is it going? I don't know. I can't really tell if it's going or not. Alright, so anyway, let's move over. There we go. <clears throat> it seems like this truck, the, the dump truck, I can drive down at full speed. <clears throat> but not the front loader. And I'm I don't know if you can tell. <clears throat> my vo my voice is a little bit hoarse today, so I like right before the live stream or the the real live stream. Right before um, I recorded, I was telling someone a story about when I was in high school and my old car and how I used to, um, you know, take all my friends <laughs> out to eat, like, you know, after like a football game or basketball game or something. And I was telling this story and I was laughing so incredibly hard. Oh, man, I have not laughed that hard in months. I can't even remember the last, like, it's prob. it's had to have been, like, er, like, first half of this year at the, at the most recent, I would think. It's been a long time since I've had a good laugh like that. Oh my gosh, so my voice is kind of hoarse. Um, of course, of course, because of that, and so I, if I kind of cough i know I'm, I'm always kind of like a coffee person not like the coffee that you drink but i tend to cough a lot and clear my throat a lot i don't know why but that's just that's just me i guess and um yeah i if i'm a little bit more coffee than i normally am i really really am sorry um let's go ahead and shut this off I'm gonna have to move that pickup truck too. So yeah, I hope every everybody's done with their Christmas shopping or getting close to being done or something. <clears throat> Cuz this has just been a super crazy year. Um you know, I know a lot of us are all, you know, looking forward to bringing 2020 to an end. Um I just hope that 2021's not like not like, you know, yay, 2020 is over and then 2020's like, hold my beer. <laughs> That would be bad. So yeah, just hoping for good things for next year. For everyone, for YouTube, for gaming, um, all that good stuff. I think I talked a little bit about um, me beating Cyberpunk the other day. Um, and, I, you know, I was really kind of shocked because 
I think it was Sony actually pulled the game entirely from it, the PlayStation Store and it's offering people refunds apparently because the game is so broken on PlayStation consoles. Um, yeah, I'm just completely shocked about that. All right, so let's dump this out. Uh, yeah, I just want to back over here. Okay. Kick that on. Jump up in here. Continue on. I kind of feel like I have to... Let's go back into the gold map really quick because... I think we're like in this area here. So I'm going to do toggle square... Toggle square, toggle square. I'm going to toggle those squares for right now. Okay. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom here. Kind of thought that this one, this square had some better gold. Kind of up higher, but I don't know, maybe not. Let's zoom out a bit there again. Planter, ooh, 24, that's actually not a bad price. Because that's going to take over 50000 off the cost of a planter. I wonder if I should buy a planter. And, eh. I think that, again, I think it's one of those issues where I think the, the amount of money that we would, you, that would, that we would lose, sorry, on the investment into the planter, you know, upon selling it, um, would be outweighed by just continuing for another day or two to save up for the, um, the gravel pump. And I didn't go and shut off my wash plant, did I? No, I did not. All right. <clears throat> yeah, at this point, it doesn't really make too much sense to waste the time to go over to shut it off. Okay. I still don't see my maintenance workers working on anything, so <clears throat> to say I'm a bit concerned is an understatement. I don't think there have been any patches here recently. Um, I'm just looking around here.
I wonder if there's literally a bug. It's it's literally like they're not <clears throat> they're not keeping their assignments or something. I wonder if this is like a known bug. I'm gonna have to check the Discord after I get done recording tonight. I doubt I'm gonna be able to get an answer because it's like a Saturday night right now. Um, but yeah, that's really kind of concerning to me. So I think that was the third bucket, right? Okay. Someone asked, um, I can't remember if this was on YouTube or, I can't remember where I got the message, but somebody asked if I could do this first person, and the answer is no. You can kind of do some things first person, but when it comes to actually, like, filling the, the truck, like, you, it's really super difficult to do. And to, and to gauge, like, you know, where the truck is so that you get, you know, so that you don't spill dirt. You, you know, it can be done. I don't really like doing it that way because, <clears throat> again, it's just the viewpoints, are the, you know, in first person are not good. They're absolutely terrible, as a matter of fact. And um, so I don't like to do it that way. Um, let's go ahead and shut this off. We can also go down and... Is it going down or is it going up? 624, no, it's going down. So even with both, both of these pumping in, let's see here. Wait, why is it not? Wait a second here, hold on. I want to see if the small pump is even pumping it up. So the small pump's not even doing anything. Why? Why not? Why not? Let's make sure that we actually have the correct... I would feel really dumb if I had the incorrect hose hooked up. Watch this not be hooked up to anything. It should be, though. Yeah, yeah. Yep, okay. So that's the output. Why does this keep shutting off? Is this missing a piece?
Hold on a second. Where's the other water pump? I think it's missing, I think it's missing the filter. I think that's why that's not working. Let's run up here. I'm gonna see if I've got a water pump filter. I'm gonna feel like a dork if I don't. It looks exactly the same. Where's, don't I have any other water pumps? I guess they're I guess they're all over at the other. See how this has got like a yeah, reinforced water pump filter. All right, so I'm going to take this one since it's reinforced. I bet this is going to kick it kick it on. Do I have any more coffee left? Oh yeah, there's still some in there. Yeah. There we go. Now it's not shutting off. All right. In and now we're going to be in business. I feel like such a dwarf. All right, so let's make sure. 86. Okay, so that's counting up. Now let's kick on the big boy here. And I need to make sure that that's also pumping water into the... Yeah, it looks like both are now. So if I... Take this off. Yeah, all right. So now we've got both, both working. Oh, cool. And we should be good. All right, cool. <laughs> and this thing's been running the whole time, burning gas up. Sorry, environment. All right, one more scoop. We'll be good to go here. One hundred percent. We should be getting pretty close to this being full. 70, okay, 71%, so this would be like around 90-something percent, probably. Oh, uh, why did I get out there? All right, so once we turn this on, though, I'm hoping... Yeah, see how it's still counting up? That's what we want. We want it to keep counting up because we want the uh, water tower to be completely full. All right, we can just skip that. Okay. Do I see any, I still do not see anything getting worked on. I thought I might have seen something, but <clears throat> I don't know.
Well, I'm going to want to see what the um, what the worker does on the other uh, or on the gravel pump to see if he actually swaps the buckets. Because I think we were able to put two additional buckets on that gravel pump. Though oddly, I didn't think the worker. Maybe he maybe. Because it says he swaps buckets on the duplex jig at like level two, but maybe he just swaps them on the gravel pump at level one because it doesn't say anything about the gravel pump. And as far as I'm aware, like the guys that are on the gravel pumps or are. are or, or the duplex jigs are, you know, it, basically it's like they're qualified for all of those stations, essentially. If that makes sense. Lights will drink. Wait, are my lights on here? Are they on? No. Okay. Oh, they were on on this thing. Okay. Gosh, this is like <laughs> the lines are like gray, which means we're not getting in, hardly any gold out of this. That's all right, though. Yeah, that's better. Well, yeah, we'll eventually be cutting through to uh, some much better gold back here. I don't know if it's going to be in this direction or where, but we will eventually cut through to it. Now, another thing I'm going to be doing um, is I'm, I'm going to remove the hog pans. And I'm probably, I don't feel like firing the guys that work on the hog pans. And maybe I should keep running the hog pans and then eventually just convert all those guys to workers. But, you know, we're only making like, you know, four or five ounces, which is like, you know, maybe like seven or eight thousand dollars. Maybe not even that much. All right, so I'm going to run this. This is going to get us to 100%. Um, oh, one thing I did want to check out while I'm here is... Okay, so I can put... I can put um, things on both sides there. Can I put them on... No, I can't here. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to want to buy more miner's mosses the next time I'm up at the wherever. So what I want to do is when this gets to 100%, I want to see if this bucket gets swapped out. I thought I had another bucket down here, but maybe not. Okay, so that's the bucket right up there that just got swapped. Bucket of gravel pump has been swapped. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so now all these miners' mosses down here have been swapped. See, those have been swapped. See, now they're like, no, you're full. So I'm just going to swap these in for right now. I 
Actually, I don't even need to do that. I can just plop them right in here. And yeah, I think we're all swapped and ready to go. Cool. Whee! All right. So, did I see... Hold on here for a second. I want to... I, want, I just want to do a quick run around to see if I see... Our maintenance guy is working on anything, and I'm not seeing them working on anything. Still. Yeah, I kind of thought they might be up here working on something, but I don't see them here. Hundred percent. Not that he would need to. Wait, what were the other things? There was that. That. 99%. Oh, I see him. I see it work. One of them. There's something back in here getting fixed. What is that? Oh, is it this thing? Hold on. Let's see. Yep, it's, it's one of these. Okay, 47%. We're not even going to need those before too long. So we're supposed to have two... Two maintenance worker or two mechanics, and I don't. I only see the one working on anything, so I don't know. Literally, have no idea. And you know that duplex jig. You know, as soon as its day is, you know, its days are numbered. As soon as its numbers up, we're we're gonna sell them. so that we can move on to bigger and better equipment. And we should be able to do that easily today before noon in the game time, I think. All righty. Fuel is low. Oh no. All right. I think I got some spillage on there. Uh oh. We're running into the disappearing walls. The game's doing the disappearing walls trick again. It's the best trick ever. It's really not. Okay, one more scoop.
sun is starting to come up here. What is that? Nine percent down there. All right, so we're going to need to, you know, four more buckets for sure, or four more loads. Sorry. Technically three and a half ish, but four might as well, might as well round up, right? Right. Zoom this out. Now, dep depending on how much we get out of this clean out is really going to give us a good indication on how quickly we're going to be able to buy the next claim. And I think the next claim is going to be fairly easy, though we are going to want to buy the water tower pretty quickly off the start and get the equipment, like the water pumps, to get that filling up. as quickly as possible over the, you know, get that set up over there. Okay, come on now, go all the way down. put the lights on there. Not sure why I'm getting such poor buckets here. I should have I should have looked and see how much uh, maintenance had to be done on that um, that duplex jig pump thing you do, Bobber, because those were like the kind of the lower end ones, and those I should probably just go ahead and sell. So I've got some of the higher end ones back there. Maybe once I do the clean out and everything, maybe the, I'll run those and just sell them really quick. Run them out and... So, just really quickly, let's see, no gold map. Yeah, so, like, once we get, like, here and here, that's got some good, really good gold in it. And then, look at all this. Like, all this. I mean, we're going to have... No problem. I mean, that's like probably three or four million gold right there. 
Whoa. It's going to be a lot. We're literally going to have no problem whatsoever. You know, with... Uh, you know, earning gold to be able to buy any of the equipment we need. And oddly enough, I was even thinking the other night, like, you know, we're going to have so much money, it might even make sense to buy the Frankenstein machine, maybe. I don't know. What are we up to? 46? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, gosh. I'll tell you what I'll do right now. Because i got to refuel. I'm just going to pull this back right over here. Go ahead and refuel him. Just looking around to see if our maintenance guy is doing any work. Not seeing it. <laughs> Not going to do it. Yeah, see like this. Boop. Boop. 81 and 30. So, yeah, I'm just going to grab these. See, these are the orange ones, and I've got four. More orange ones over there. What was this one at? 81? 83. <clears throat> so that's going to give us like a couple more bucks, you know. But I want to force him to work on I want to I want to force the the maintenance guys to work on the better equipment so that's 101% this is the other black one that's 100% and then the this one whoops that one's 100 and that one's 101 okay I love how we're only getting like 10% back on these. So the two black ones here we'll keep. And the orange ones we will um, sell. Because the black ones are the reinforced versions. Oh, we got a good price on those. Or better, not great. Yeah, let's see if it kicked this kick the maintenance I you know there should be two okay so now he's working over there but where's our other guy I don't know I don't understand this game sometimes I think I think it's a bug people keep asking me Brad when's it coming to console and it's like it's bugs like this that prevent it from coming to the console pretty much Okay, did I even turn off the, I don't even know if I turned off the, uh, the wash plant or not.
right. Uh, yeah, let's go right down the side. We're just going to scoop up. We go bottoms up. <laughs> bottoms up. Isn't that the name of like a bar, the bar in Grand Theft Auto, like one of the Grand Theft Auto games? No. No. There. Must have hit the wrong direction or something. <laughs> I meant to go in, get into the dump truck and not the pickup truck. Oh no, I guess I did turn off the... So we're up to what? 46%? Okay. So two more after this, and we'll be ready for the clean-out. Nice. Oh, it's so annoying. It's like one of the most annoying bugs in all of video games. And it's like, I'm pretty sure it's not that difficult to fix. I'll be honest with you guys, I did not think that I would be enjoying my experience with Gold Rush this far into 2020. <laughs> but like I I'm real I'm still having fun with it. It's li it, you know, it's it hits all the right like it checks all the right boxes, it hits all the right all the feels like, you know, digging for gold. Who doesn't want to like dig for gold and be successful at finding gold. That would be awesome. This is going to bump us up to like 97 percent. 98. Okay, good.
Alright, so we should have one more load. And then we'll be able to do the clean out. And I'm really... Post in the comments. Don't cheat, but post in the comments. And let me know what you... Like, how much you think we're going to make this time. I'm going to guess... 128 ounces. And we'll see how much I actually get. <laughs> That is so freaking annoying. Ah! Oh, that was nice. Just spill it right over the back, Brad. Why don't you? Oh, I can't really see like how far back to squares go darn it oh my gosh we're digging into the void oh it's so annoying why why does it have to be so annoying <sighs> Like, if there was some setting that I could change to keep that from happening, I would change it. Watch it be, like, watch me go complain about it on the, like, the official Gold Rush Discord, and they'll be like, Brad, you stupid derp head. All you have to do is turn this setting on, and it won't do that anymore. And I'll be like, oh. <laughs> You guys know I've been ripping on you for like the last year. And it was something so simple. But it, it shouldn't be. It, you know, it shouldn't do that at all, period. Come on. Come on, go forward. Thank you. Ooh. <gasps> ah! Whoa! What is that? What? <laughs> what? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. I literally thought all the... All the dirt was going to dump out. And then I was going to be really unhappy. And probably say some unhappy words. <laughs> what are unhappy words, Brad? Words that, words that don't make your parents happy when you say them. Alright, so we are at... 83%? Really? Am I going to have to get another full load? I don't know if this is going to get us up to 100%. Well, anyway, let's go down. We're going to keep digging until we start getting you know swap out messages you know such and such has been swapped out for you know what I, you know what I'm talking about oh my gosh that's so annoying no Oh my gosh. Really? Seriously? See, if I do it like this, then I can kind of see. 
But then I don't like... I guess this isn't too bad. It's not perfect. Ugh. It's like I have to be... It's messing with my whole, like, perspective. Okay, so that's the fur... The ST sluice box is always first. So here in another scoop or two, we should start seeing everything else get swapped. Maybe. Uh, I don't think everything else is going to get swapped. I think that's going to be it. Because I'm sure that that hopper is empty by now. So I bet everything else is literally at like 98, like 98, 99% full. So let's just go ahead. Oh, I can't really see from up here. Yeah. Okay, so now everything else is going to be full. Yep. Yep, everything's at 100%. All right. Uh, let's see, what are we at here? 5%? Okay. So we'll do all these first. <clears throat> uh, really? There. It's nice to have them nice and close. Wait, did we lose one? Yes, we did. All right. Boom. All right, so we got water, we got power. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And I'm just going to start grabbing these buckets, I guess.
see how much we get off of this. Okay. 272 and oh my gosh that is gonna be some good stuff thirteen point eight four not a bad start okay let's turn this off Two hundred sixteen magnets height. We're doing pretty good. And again, I think I'm really, really thinking that I should just not do anything with these anymore. So I'm going to take these up. I thought there was like a larger box up here, but maybe there's not. Let's put these over on the shelves. And I'll pick up the, uh, the, the last four Miners, uh, what is it? No, the hog pan mats. And then that'll kind of be the end of the hog pans. I just think that, that the amount of money that we spend, or the, not the amount of money, but the amount of time that we spend, you know, hooking these things up and blah 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 I think that just it takes too much time out of like everything else <clears throat> I didn't see how much we got out of that last one. Oh well. Uh oh. Oh, it swapped the. Okay, I get it. It swapped it out. Gotcha. All right. So these are all the hog pan mats. So we'll be able to see pretty quickly how much and or little we got off of those sixty five ounces of magnetite I think that's actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be and then keep an eye on the gold Okay, 155 ounces of magnets height there. Four point so four point six six ounces of gold. Four point six seven ounces actually. So really not you know, less than five ounces of gold, and it's all that work that we have to do. So yeah. Just not su- Oh, hello. <gasps> oh. What the heck is going on here? Just give me this.
What the heck was going on with the wave table? Or the, yeah. 11.8 ounces, okay. That was weird. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get to 128 ounces or not. It's not looking promising at this at this moment. Ugh. Four point six three ounce. Oh, that must be one of the duplex jig buckets. Okay. Okay, there's that set. Why am I hearing like this kind of diarrhea spatter noise that I don't remember hearing ever before? Okay. I don't know if that's the right terminology, diarrhea, <laughs> diarrhea spatter noise. We might get up to... Like if we can get up to 80 ounces with, with what's left in here, we might, there's a chance we might actually be able to make it up to 128 ounces. I don't know. I think it's kind of a long shot, but hey. And I don't think I'm going to sell the magnetite until, you know, we get closer to 100% there. There we go. So, let's see. 3.3 .3 ounces. So we're at 81.7. I don't know, do you think we pulled 25 ounces of, uh, you know, 24, 25 ounces of magnetite? Or, I'm sorry, of gold off of these two? We're going to find out here in just a moment. Holy cow. 439 ounces of magnetite, that's pretty good. I'm going to say it's at least 20 to 22 ounces there. So we'll find out here momentarily. In the meantime, we're going to go swap out these guys. Thirty-one ounces. Okay. Yeah, we're going to hit 128 ounces. Should hit that pretty easily. Oh. 
Okay, one more. Oh no! Oh, come on. All right, next slide. No, oh gosh, no. Just don't, just look away, guys, right now, please. <laughs> oh gosh, here we go again. Here we go again. I can't play this game. Oh gosh. Two, three, four, five, okay, six. All right, well, we didn't lose any. Good deal. I swear I never realized that that water sounded all splattery like that before, though. Slightly concerning. No, not really. So yeah, we're we we could stand to do a hundred. Let's see. Well, I'm I'm guessing we're gonna at least get another thirty to thirty-one ounces. So that's going to put us, you know, 143, 144 ounces. It could even be higher if we had a slightly better, um, you know, gold ratio in the uh, second wave of digging that we did. So, you know, I don't think we're going to go as high as 150 ounces, but... Theoretically, we could. I don't know what theory that's based on, but other than, than me saying words like theoretically. But um, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, there's more buckets up here. Okay. Did not realize that. Nothing in them. Gold Nuggetator is finished. So I can't remember what how many ounces of magnetite. Four hundred and I want to say four thirty-eight or something like that. So if we get higher than that, then we obviously know. Oh, three. Oh, a lot less. Ooh. Disappointingly less, actually. I thought we would get way more than that. Well, while those are working, let's go ahead and uh, put these back in place. Tw oh my gosh. A lot less. Wow. That is disappointing. Oh, come on. That is really disappointing. However, did I drop one down there? I did. However, overall, I did beat my estimate of 128 ounces. We got 135. Um, I don't know whether we'll do better than that in the next episode, but hopefully we will. And um, yeah, we're pretty much done. Um, I'm going to see if I can uh, haul some of the... Where's the other... Oh. Down here, don't care about that. None of this. Okay, that's not going to work. <clears throat> I 
I should just get the pickup truck and haul this stuff up. Because I really, I don't know, maybe I should just sell this? Like it's even worth selling? <laughs> but yeah, so we did pretty good this uh, episode. Definitely puts us way over 300,000. Um, let's get the pickup truck down here. So now we're not going to have to worry about these stupid hog pans anymore. Like, you know, if, if they could make the game where, you know, you had some guys and they were really super cool and hip and they would be like, hey, Brad, we'll just take these right on up and put them in the, you know, if you could have the Nuggetator like sitting at, let's, let, let's say we had the gold Nuggetator sitting out here and they could automatically put them in the gold Nuggetator, it would be worth keeping them. But as is, it is definitely 100% not. Come on now, let's get her going, get her up there. I don't even know where I want to put these things. Over here somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll just get to the point where I'm sick of these these sluice boxes hanging out and I'll just sell them cuz it's not like they're tremendously expensive. Like of all the things in the game, those are like the cheapest things. And I know that I said that I was going to buy the the fuel tank uh we already got the large excavator but i think i said i was going to buy the fuel tank and, and pop it you know put it back on the back side of the claim i don't think i'm going to do that yet i'm just not ready to um and we're going to get better we're going to get better gold off of the um the blacksmith so um, we'll come back in the next episode. We'll continue on. And, um, oh, right before we go, I, want, I just want to check these guys to see how we're doing. 59%, 80%, 97%, and 89%. So this is definitely going up. It's definitely be, being repaired which is awesome. And we're not going to have too much more to, you know, keep up on repairs as far as that goes. Keep all that wonderful water pumping into the, uh, let's see if it's still going up. Is it going up? Yes, it is. Let's see if it goes up faster now. Oh yeah, way faster. So the longer we, uh, you know, don't use the water. So yeah, really the last thing that we're looking to swap right now is this. To get these things out of here. Um, let's see how these are. 96, 97. Wow, I'm actually pretty impressed with how 60% on the motor, not too bad. Actually, I think when I put it in there, it was only at 50%. I don't know, maybe it wasn't. But yeah, this is really the last piece of equipment we're going to swap out. We're going to put one of these in there as soon as we can afford one. But again, it's a gravel pump. And we got, like, if we go, see, wash plants, gravel pump. Yeah, 553000 And that price is going to, you know, keep going up. It's like, you know, twenty twenty five thousand 25000 a day probably. So, yeah, the faster we can get there the better. I would almost take a loan out, but the loan would end up costing us more in the long run uh, as well. So that is where we, we are. Um, 
And that is going to end the episode, guys. So we'll we'll get back. We'll continue digging. And um, hopefully, probably, I don't know if it'll be the maybe at the end of the next episode, if we do another clean out like this and we've got, you know, 270 ish ounces of gold, um, that could put us, you know, that could get us the money we need to buy that last piece of equipment. So I don't know. We'll see where we're at when we get there. And I want to thank all of you guys for hanging out with me once again, playing some gold rush. As always, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Uh, Leave a comment. Let me know how I am doing. And if you have not done so, Please subscribe for this and many more videos. Uh, Thanks again for watching. I'm Brad M73, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.